Hey, welcome with Motion with Nas. Hope you've been enjoying my content so far. Uh, in today's video, actually I actually have something really, really cool to, you know, to tutor you or to teach you. We are going to be creating this Earth out of space look, right? It's actually quite simple. You might think it's hard, but it's actually quite simple. So you can actually learn this and then you know, recreate it on your own. So this video is actually going to be broken down into two parts. The first one is after I get to achieve the spare the background and then the animation at why the second part is just take it to the next level to make it more realistic we are here to subscribe to my channel so make sure you do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get real time notification for me so you know exactly when i drop the second part of this video because you don't want to miss it and of course if you like the video make sure you do like it and one last thing the project file is in the link in the description so make sure you do download it so you can follow along all right i'll see you after video The first thing I'd like to point out is I've imported all the assets that we're going to be using for this. And you can also find all these assets in the project file in the link in the description. So make sure you download the project file so I can actually follow along. And from here, I have the earth pictures, right? And I have this space BG, which we are going to use for our background. So uh, but I'm going to start by creating the earth um, scene composition. So what I would do, is I would like to take this earth cloud, right, and maintain this resolution. So what I would do, I'll just take that and then drag into my new composition. By so doing, you can see that it actually created a new composition and the composition is actually going to fit to the size of the image, which is really what I want. The image is actually quite large, which is really good. So it will give us really, really high resolution. This is the resolution here. So I'm, I'm using 30 frames per second here and I'm going to click OK. On that note, I'm also going to drag in the normal earth image. I'm just going to drag it under and let me uncheck the cloud first. And I'm just going to make sure that this fits the screen. So I'm just going to press S for scale, then drag it until it fits. Let's say about 130. It works fine. So after doing that, I'm going to just activate the cloud again. All right. So the first thing I like to do, if I select this now, I'll go to the blend mode and I change this one to screen, right? And I'll activate my earth and then we have this combination, which is really, really looking cool, right? But what I would like to also do is I'll duplicate the clouds again. I want some, a little bit of some depth in the cloud. So what I would like to do now is let me deactivate the one on top. Uh, the one down, I'll make it normal. And let me just solo this for now. And I'll select this, I'll use the extract effect and i'll just take away the blacks by reducing the black point like this and i'll increase the softness then keep reducing the black point like this right and i think this is good so let me reduce this to about 170 increase the softness to about 130 right so we have this so the next i'd like to do now is to add fill effects so and then i'll make this black right then the last effect i'll add to this is fast box blur and i'll just change this to about six the blur radius so i'll change to about six for the blur radius and i have this so if i activate this and this now of course it looks kind of strong so i'll take this and i'll reduce the opacity to about let's say 40 percent uh let's see the difference can you see the difference so just a subtle difference, right? It just gives us a tiny bit of depth. We can always come back to this and then adjust. So we are done creating the earth scene. So before I go, I'd like to just rename this comp. So this is the comp here. Let me drag it out so I can remain organized. I'll rename this to earth, earth comp scene. And I'm, we are done with this. All right, so the next thing I'd like to do is to create a new composition. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to name this earth. So this is going to be the final comp for S and I'm just going to change this to 1920 because I want it to be one by one as per ratio. So I'll make it 1920 by 1920 to maintain an high resolution. So I'll click OK. So I have something like this. Now what I really need to do is to bring the earth comp scene and drag it and drop here. So I had an effect to this to get a sphere look. So I'll come here and then add CC sphere. And then automatically this is what we're going to have so let me uncheck the transparency grid so i can see this 
and let me fit the screen as well so this is what we have by default so here we are going to do tweak some settings here so first i'm going to go to radius and i'm going to make it a little bit bigger 350 it's now bigger right and i'm also going to go to the lighting and i'm actually going to do some adjustment for the lighting i would do let's say 75 the that's the intensity i don't want it to be too intense then i will go to the light direction i like to flip it to the other side like this let's say 90 degrees then the light height i would like to reduce it quite a lot something like this let's do zero or let's do minus one let's see how that looks like as you can see it's getting it's not so bright then the next thing is i'll go to the shading i can increase the ambient to about 18 percent right so it will be a little bit brighter the specular i'll make it zero the meta i'll make it zero and i think that's it for now this is what i'll be working with so the next thing I'd like to also do now is to create some really, really good highlights on this side of the earth so it can have some more depth. How am I going to do that? So I'm going to create a circle, right? So I'm going to click on old, make sure I'm on the circle and then I will just double click until I have a circle. So by default, it was making use of the properties that I was using here. So I'll just reduce this to let's say 20 for now and then I'll open up my ellipse go to my ellipse part then reduce the size until fit in until fit into the earth like this so i'm actually going to increase this to about let's say 140 and then i'm going to go to the stroke so let me close this go to open this rather go to stroke then i'll go to the taper and i'm actually going to try and reduce this right and reduce the end as well but before i do this so that you have understand of what i'm trying to do here let me add trim part so go to add go to trim part open this up i reduce the end to about let's say 40 percent right so it's actually going to reduce it so this is what trim part does so by adjusting this you can see what it's doing so i'll make sure that is 40 percent then change the offset to about let's say 20 percent but let me drag it so i can see that it's moving the two at the same time so i'll change this to about 20 percent now we cannot go to the taper now so i'll go to the start and i'll just increase this quite a bunch so let me do about let's say 35 okay and for the end length i will do about let's say 40 okay i think that that works perfectly and all we need to do right now is to add another effect against this. I will make sure I had fast box blow and I'll increase this to about, let's say 50. You can see it's actually quite bright on the side. And all I need to do is to make sure that it's been, it's just reflecting on the earth alone. So I'll go to my track mat. If you cannot see this, just toggle switches and mode and then just drag this right to the earth of course activate the earth again and then we have something like this this is without the highlight this is with the highlight right so this gives you some more depth so let me just rename this to uh, highlight and we are done with this so the next thing i'd like to do is to create the main comp now so i'll come to my project panel side click on new composition and I'll change this to the you know, full HD option. Make sure it's 30 frames per second. That's what we are working with. And I'm just going to name this main. And I'm just going to click it. So we have our main composition here. So first, I'm going to drag in the earth here. Then, of course, I need to give this. We need, we need background for this. So all I need to do is to go to my assets like i said these assets are in the project files and you can always have access to them when you download the link in the description so i'll drag this space background image and just drag it below this and i'll just have to scale this a little bit more this is not looking so great right now so we're going to adjust it so i'm just going to click on this and a hard curves effect to it and I'm just going to go to, let me adjust my effect here. And I'm just going to click on the, almost to the center and just drag it down. Drag it down a lot like this. 
right so it will be dark so it's now looking more realistic and just to be sure because we have some some color details here right which is not bad actually but i like to just turn that down a little bit so i had another effect which is the tint effect so automatically that will turn into black and white but then i think i can just reduce it to about let's say 50 percent so we have a little bit of some still tiny details of this color in the background so the next thing i like to do is to introduce is to bring in a camera because that's what we're going to use to have that you know zoom in or zoom out animation so all right click go to new click on camera and i'm just going to use the 5mm for this and i'm going to click okay and i'm getting notification that you know i have to activate you know the 3d function here which we are going to do so i have my camera which is great now i need to activate 3d for both the earth and the world underground so i'll click on toggle switches and mode and then i'll create 3d for the earth and 3d for the background too as well now i want this background to be so far away in the composition so what i'll do i'll click on this press p for composition and for me to be able to get it you know far away a little bit is to control or adjust the z axis of this so i'm just going to click on this and i'm just going to put 10,000. so it's going to be 10,000 away from the camera right 10,000 pixels away from the camera so all i need to do is just increase the scale to cover up for that right so something like this would do so we activated 3d for this all we need to do now is to just adjust this the way we will we want it to be adjusted so so i will just going to move this to the side like this now i'm seeing some details in the background that i don't really like so i'm just going to try and hide it so i'm just going to take this and then drag it to the side right just to cover for it and i can see that you know i'm having some black space here i can actually increase the scale and cover for it but what i would like to do is to just use cc repetile something that would just repeat the same pattern of the image so i'll click on expand to the right and then to just expand all of that and that does it for me what i like to do now is to have a simple animation on the camera so at this point i'll select this i'll press p for position check this i will also open this up again check point of interest so that's at the end of the composition and at this point press u to see my values at this point i will just zoom in a little bit to the earth like this and then i would adjust the point of interest can you see it's almost as if it's panning to the left which really gives you some really really cool look so i'll just change this value here to about 800 and i'll just drag this in more let's do minus 990 so it's almost as if it's you know it's zooming out as you can see right which is really 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 cool so all we need to do because we want to have this rotate so as well as it's zooming so i'll go to my earth and then go to my earth comb and i'll go to the rotation here go to the y axis I'll come here then i'll set the rotation here first keyframe then go to the last keyframe here and then i'll just set this to about let's say 100 degrees so it has rotated so if i take this back now this is what i have so you can as you can see it's just this subtle rotation so i'm not adding any easy ease at all to this because i just want it to be on a linear keyframe i think that's what's best for this tutorial actually so i think this is what we are settling with now i'll go back to my main and then let's see how the animation looks like now so yeah you can see this is really really looking interesting so all we need to do now is to develop this scene some more this is like the foundation for this scene now let us develop it to make it look more realistic all right i really hope you do enjoy that and i'm pretty sure you've learned a lot from creating this right uh, remember this is just the part one make sure you subscribe click on the bell icon so i can get real time notification as soon as i drop this right all right i'll see you guys in the next video